September 8, 1994, U.S. Air Flight 427, a Boeing 737 en route from Chicago to Pittsburgh, descended smoothly toward the airport with 132 souls on board. Captain Peter Germano and First Officer Charles Emmett chatted casually in the cockpit, unaware of the nightmare about to unfold. At 7.03 p.m., while turning left at 5,000 feet, the plane encountered wake turbulence from a preceding 727, but something went terribly wrong. The rudder suddenly rebelled, deflecting hard to the left, opposite to the pilot's commands. In seconds, the aircraft rolled inverted, pitched nose down, and plummeted uncontrollably. Traffic! What the hell is this? The crew shouted as the stick shaker blared. Emergency calls echoed over the radio, but recovery was impossible. The 737 slammed into a wooded hillside near Aliquippa, Pennsylvania, erupting in a fireball. All 132 perished in under 30 seconds. The NTSB's four-year probe revealed a defective rudder power control unit, a jammed valve causing the reversal. This solved the mystery of two prior crashes and led Boeing to redesign the system, saving countless lives. But why did the rudder rebel? A tiny flaw in a complex machine turned routine into tragedy, reminding us aviation's fragile edge.